Okay guys and welcome back. Now this is kind of a bonus lecture. Now it's not actually about variables but we've done a lot of calling to other subroutines to demonstrate the variables in the last few lectures. Now what this bonus lecture is actually about is how do you call code that you've written in a completely different workbook? That is calling code that lives in a workbook aside from the one that you want to use it in. So what I've done is I've added um, another tab here, the bonus subs from another workbook, because I can't fit anything longer than that in there. And you'll find this code in the variables download. Now what I've done is I also have uh, a cleverly created, wherever it's gone, another workbook that I've opened. And there's nothing in this. It's just literally another workbook called my other workbook. So what we're going to do is we're just going to write a bit of code very quickly. So I'm coming over to the Visual Basic Editor, which is here. And in the subroute or in the project area for the My Other Workbook, I'm going to insert a module. So I'm going to come up to Insert, go to Module, and there you go. It's just a regular module. And I'm going to say uh, sub run me. Oops, I've got my caps lock on. Let me try that again. So, so actually, we'll put that right. Sub run me, and I'm going to say something simple. Range a, uh, actually, where do I want to write it? Let's say range a 12. <laughs> I'm just making this up as I go along. Uh, range a 12 dot value equals I ran... I can't type and talk this from elsewhere. Okie dokie. So there's our code. And it is in a sub called run me in the workbook, my other workbooks. Now, let me just flip back to, uh, to the variables workbook so we can steal that code. And this is the only bit we're actually looking for, this bit just here. So I'm just going to copy that and come back up to here. And I'm going to insert a, mod a module in the variables workbook. Insert. Now, I can't upload a file with modules in it, so you're going to have to add this in yourself. But here we go. So sub um, my test, we'll call this. Sub my test, bump, and paste that code in there. So what we have is application.run. Now, notice the use of the apostrophes here. Because we have spaces in the name of our workbook, we need to have an apostrophe at the front of the name, an apostrophe at the end of the name, after the file extension, but before the module. So what we're doing is we're pointing to application.run, open brackets, quotes, apostrophe, because we have the spaces, my other workbook, and that's, oops, sorry, that's um, this one over here. I keep getting the uh, Windows things slide in. It's driving me mad. Uh, so we're pointing to my other workbook dot XLSM. It's actually XLSX, this, I think. Uh, yeah, it is XLSX. And I am pointing to module one. So my other workbook dot XLSX apostrophe module one because that's where that code lives dot run me because that was the name of our subroutine so uh, let me just uh, let me just click on here and let us run that code so i'm just going to hit alt and f8 to step through the code and then it's going to immediately jump to the other workbook module one that subroutine Hit F8, and there you go. I ran this, which <laughs> turns out I really can't spell. I ran this from elsewhere. Then we're going to hit F8. F8, and there you go. That's how you call a subroutine in a module that lives in a completely different workbook. Okay, I'll see you in the next lecture.